the title of this video, folks, this live video is emergency marketing meeting. That's why I'm I'm in a kind of a, a headquarter headquarter command center. Uh, I'm not the commander. I just am one of them. How's that? But uh, yeah, I the same thing going in my background too. I know. Look at that. Look at that. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're orbiting the earth right now, folks, and we're looking at marketing trends, and we're warning you. <laughs> Well, actually, there is a little bit of seriousness to that, DJ, because if you notice, folks, if you're in business right now, people are a little nervous. They're, they're trying to hold on to their money a little more. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not so sure that the powers that be have their back, and they don't. Uh, but what do you do? What do you do in a climate like this? Well, here's what you do. You know, the, there's an old famous hockey player, DJ, named Wayne Gretzky. And they called him the master of the past. And, um, and, and so, have you heard of Wayne Gretzky, DJ? Of course. Well, of course you have. Well, of course. He, he really inspired me when I was writing my first marketing book 18 years ago. And it's still as valid as what you're doing uh, and what, what you've seen through the decades, DJ. But, but he, they said, man, what, what is the secret? How are you the master of the past? And he said, it's because I don't go to where the puck is. I go to where it's going to be. Well, folks, emergency marketing meeting here. You need to go where things are going. If you notice, uh, there have been plenty of people talking about the new normal. No, no, we haven't gone back to normal from the last uh, whatever you want to call it. And if you don't think that, that there's not another one on the way, then you're mistaken too. How do you get ahead of the game uh, in a business climate that may seem like shifting sand? Well, uh, there are some things, some universal marketing principles that never change, DJ. But um, I don't know. Are you seeing that? You know, I, I deal with five different cities on a regular basis, and, and I, I pay attention to what's happened on the West Coast and the East Coast and how long it usually takes to get to where we are. DJ, are you seeing some people uh, in and around Amarillo that may be a little nervous when it comes to spending marketing money? Well, I just see people that are nervous in business. And yeah, um, yeah spending is another aspect of it. I also see people that are uh, wanting to jump off from working for someone else right. to go out and, you know, going out on their own. I've seen a lot of that lately. Right, right. Where I've had people say, yeah, I worked for another company that did this and I decided to do it myself. And uh, I've had a lot of that lately. Have you heard a lot of that? I, I've seen a lot of that. And of course, you know, uh, I did that many years ago. And um, it's never, this is going to sound funny, folks, but it's it's actually never been a better time to do that. And, and let me tell you why. Um, because Job security is a myth. You know, uh, if, 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 if most people knew uh, how often the, the business owners have to get a loan, we're talking about mega million dollar businesses sometimes have to get a loan to make payroll because of lags in financing or depends on who's, who's in leadership, whether it's over-regulation and a delay in building. Uh, billing, you know, uh, uh, your business may have gone from a from a same day pay service or a week or biweekly to a 30 day pay to a 60 day pay. You know, in situations like that, you might be surprised how many times your employer is actually trying to get a loan to pay you. And you think, you know, and don't get me wrong when I say this, but but when when you are in the employee sector and it's great, I mean, DJ, you and I are in all four sectors, employee, self-employed business owner, investor. Okay. And we'll talk about that. But when you're strictly an employee and you have no other streams of income, um, it's always a good wake up call to discover that respectfully, those monies never grow on trees. They never grow on trees. And the security is really a myth. Uh, it, it's an illusion. Um, now you should always try to be the best worker and employee you can be, but you should always expand your horizons. And so while, you know, it's not like, like the old writing, you know, it was the best of times, the worst of times, but it, it may be uncertain times in the business world. It's also a good time for you to look at 
uh, starting that business that's been in your heart to start. And um, there's some basic things you can do uh, to do that. It, it, it's a different landscape, business and marketing now, folks. And, and DJ, one of the things I wanted to talk about was encouraging people to go another layer in their marketing that, quite frankly, I don't really see of a lot of in Amarillo. And um, I'm starting to see it with uh, Red River and, and some other places like that. Um, those, those who understand that, uh, you know, during lockdown, mail was, was a precious thing. Uh, you may have, have wondered where direct mail was in the world, but um, in, in a situation where people are being asked to stay home, all of a sudden that mail becomes a little more visible uh, to its occupants than if you're going a million miles an hour and, and you're never home. You, you just toss it on the table. That mail becomes a lot more important. Well, that direct mail piece becomes a lot more important too during times like that. And I'm telling you folks uh, from the chatter, uh, they may attempt that again. And so you you, you really want to have uh, a presence in, in different forms of media uh, that you may have, have thought have fluctuated up and down through the years. What do you think, DJ? I agree. Plus the fact that uh, you don't get spammed from it. It's right. coming to you. It's your choice as to right. what you do with it. And uh, tangible works because of, uh, and we do all kinds of advertising because I feel like I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't do all forms. We do radio, yeah. we do TV, we do billboards, and uh, we do print. And uh, I like print because you know, like it, uh, if you see a billboard and you see who it was, but you didn't get their number or whatever information, if you've got it, then you can go ahead and work off of it. And plus with the, uh, like with what we do with Welcome Partner, if you uh, put uh, an invitation in there, if you just uh, run pictures of your products, mm -hmm. okay. That may or may not work, but if you put an invitation in there, something that makes that person feel special to go in and use it, it works much, much better. Right. Now, we've got two clients we've had since 1981, and uh, they're still with us, and uh, they still charge, we charge them just a little bit more than we did back in 1981, but uh, we, we uh, as soon as uh, uh, websites became available, we bought the second one that was sold in Amarillo, and I bought the second retail sold computer that was sold in Amarillo in 1982. And uh, I, I never am number one on anything. I've never even been a first wife. I've been number two. <laughs> <in the world>. <laughs> <laughs> That's that part, part of the comedy relief there. I got well, you. Yeah. Well, you know, the other thing, though, is that I'm careful. I'm, I'm careful before I step in. I want to see what somebody else does. You know, if they jump yeah. out of the plane first, well, okay, if they didn't splat on the ground, well, then, okay, I'll, I'll jump out, too. And uh, uh, everything about the way this business has come about is and because of my own ingenuity. It's because uh, the good Lord and then also our community built it because they loved it. They kept saying, why don't you do this? Right, why don't you right. do that? Okay, we'll do it. And well, you, uh, so yeah. it, it does work, but you have you to know. be smart about it. And I've had people say, no, I don't want to put any offers on it. I just want to put this on there. And I'll, I'll say, okay. And, right. and they say, well, it didn't work so good. Well, excuse me. <laughs> you know, I do I do know what I've seen work and what right. is. And the word free works really, really good. And if you handle it correctly, you won't lose money on it. Yeah, and, and, and there's a balance there. You know, staying true to the title of this video, an emergency marketing meeting, um, I, I want to encourage you folks, you know, as one who deals with organizations, uh, different parts of the country, as well as Amarillo. I love Amarillo. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there are, are ways that, Amarillo stands out with, with incredible, benevolent community, wonderful community. Um, I love the people in Amarillo. Um, you know, uh, some of the TV things we do, uh, you know, the, the, they're, they're cool. They don't have a, the typical local television feel necessarily, uh, you know, but people are, are, are receptive. They're enthusiastic for the most part. 
And that's why it's dear to my heart to talk about this. Uh, there is an emergency. Uh, you, A lot of you have seen a dip in your business. Depends on what industry it is. Um, but, but I want to encourage you to think about new channels of marketing and then what I would call new levels of marketing, DJ. You know, here, here's, here's another example. Uh, there, there's the cost per thousand level. And, and, and direct mail plays somewhat into that. But again, if, if your piece isn't designed properly, uh, uh, if, if it's a cheesy design, people will discount it. If it's too busy, people will not even really see it. Um, if, if there's not an offer on there, if, if there's not a reason to act on it, they won't. You know, the, the, there was a time in our country, DJ, where people would see a good company. That's a good company. Uh, I think I'll go business, go do business there, right? Or maybe they'll see a good company well, doing <laughs> or, or, or doing great things in the community. That's a good company and they're doing great things in the community. I'm going to do business with them. Well, it, it is true that people help people who help people. But when there's when there's a, a, a climate where there's a lot of competition, especially in the same city for your kind of service, there's something you said before many times, DJ, is what makes you different uh, is what makes you successful, Right. And, and we could talk for days on that, but but what I wanted to propose to you, DJ, and get your thoughts on is what I'm seeing, and I'm seeing this work for for my clients too, is a new level of marketing, um, where where you are literally going after the business of of you're going you're you're engaging people groups, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Instead of just putting the word out there, you know, when I was promoting concerts. Um, uh, in, in a place that you didn't have big concerts, we had we had some wild success at it uh, because of how we did the marketing, how we got the word out, you know. And and again, we were different, you know what I mean. Um, but people would still say, "Well, you know, we put out all this advertising. We should have a, we should pack it out." Well, not every advertisement you see will you act on. Not every concert pop poster you see will you go to. Unless that's your kind of concert, not every uh, special event that you, that you see advertised or or food that you advertise. Oh, I saw it. Therefore, I'm going to go. Right? No. It, it, just like you talked about, DJ. It's important to have the right design to have the right offer. But what I'm talking about is literally going after people groups. And what I mean by that is building accounts. If you're a retail organization or, or a restaurant, you need to build accounts of groups of people. You have to tell them why uh, they should come to you instead of just, you know, being one out of a hundred, you know what I mean? And there's a way to do that. Uh, you know, here, here's an example. Uh, you know, we, we were looking for a, uh, you, Red River has been a, a, a good, great client and it still is with Welcome Partner and those printed materials are, are more important than ever. I said, you know, you, you really need to, to help people um, make your family meals a deal. So now Red River has family meal pickup. You can pick up your meals for your family so that that business is not just dependent upon people coming in and sitting down and eating, but you've got cash flow, you've got revenue happening uh, because you're 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 suggesting uh things to people groups. Well, family meals are to families, right? Um, DJ, you're gonna start playing piano this well, Wednesday. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, but I, I want to stay on, on the deal about Will's advertising because he doesn't just use us. Right. He does other forms. He, he uses you. He does his same message in multiple ways. That is very important. You know, that uh, they don't just see it here. They don't just hear it. They don't just see it. They don't, you know. It, it's all the stuff, the same message over and over again. It's uh, basically brainwashing. So <laughs> look at brainwashing. And yes. uh, that's why he's the <laughs> well, not only yeah. in Amarillo, but he's in McLean too. So he, he right in the heart of Amarillo between uh, Bell and Western on 45th. You know, uh, uh, it, it's yet another, another great business that helps the community. Um, mm -hmm. Caitlin, you know, uh, uh, this incredible young artist. She has a music school. Well, guess what? She's going to start having her, her showcase of her students there at Red River. What's that going to do? That's going to bring in parents, right? So, and grandparents. And, 
And so you, you need a new level of engagement, not just, not just ads and not just, uh, you know, kind of the cost per thousand mentality, though that's very important, of course, right? But the engagement, um, for, here's an example. Uh, if you have a space in your, in your establishment that you can rent out as office space, you need to do that. That's another form of income. If you have a, a meeting place in your restaurant that would accommodate 200 people like the one in McLean or McLean, you know, Red River Steakhouse, guess what? That needs to be a concert venue. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, they, they, we, we, we had a, a group, group meeting at Red River uh, just the other night. And there, you know, it, it comfortably has 50 uh, capacity serving, eating and, and, and room capacity. Uh, well, you know, um, people in this day and age, they have to be told why they should choose you in addition to great food, uh, in addition to uh, Angus beef, age 21 days, right? Here's an example. In, in addition to someone who will refuse to serve synthetic lab-grown meat, which is no meat at all, right? Remember, folks, they want us eating bugs as they eat steak, okay? Uh that's he, the the community needs to know that uh, that he's going to continue to support local ranchers, right? So mm-hmm. by putting out promotions that he supports local ranchers, that's another people group where real meat is important to them. Do, do you understand? It's not just your daily specials, but you're engaging groups of people to build accounts to bring traffic and commerce into the door, and if 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 they can't come into the door, then you diversify your business in a way where they can pick it up and take it home. You know, a lot of fathers are, are watching kids while their wife is working a different shift, right? So anyway, along the lines of a new way of engagement of marketing, a new level is going specifically targeting people groups to actually build what I would call accounts, right? DJ, you're going to start playing piano on Wednesdays during lunch. Uh, that's nice. That's unique. I don't know who else has piano during lunch. You know, you'll play some nights too, but that's a really cool thing. And um, uh, uh, there's a there's a group of people, the boomers are the best group in the world, I think, uh, for any kind of business. Well, you know, uh, some, some of the older boomers don't like to drive at night. And for good reason, right? And the, you know, you have to have a self-defense driving course this day and age to be able to do that. So guess what? You can still enjoy live piano from DJ Steuben and have a great lunch uh, at Red River. But that, that's along the lines of a new level of marketing folks going after people groups in a positive, engaging way uh, to build what we call accounts of regular business traffic, and in some cases, call-in orders. Well, and if it's your birthday or if you're celebrating somebody's birthday, I'll play happy birthday for you. So there. <laughs> hey, all right. All right. You know yeah, what I mean? Uh, bring your birthday buddies and uh, come in. We have a little extra celebration, you know, instead of having uh, clown hats or something, you know, like that. We'll just make it a pretty happy birthday song. But there you go. Grant is the thinker on this stuff. I didn't didn't come up with it. He did. So thank you. Well, hey, you know what? You you again, you know, basic marketing, right? You you yeah. want to consider who who are you going? Well, I noticed going into Red River that that there were a lot of boomers there, older boomers there. And uh, of course, I, you know, my whole life I've made a great living working with boomers, you know, pl- with the piano bars and, and and doing dueling piano, you know, the Eagles, Beatles. saying bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> boomers, boomers, the boomer generation. Yeah. We're in bloomers. Okay. <laughs> well, all that to say is, you know what, if, if, if uh, the, the number one way to increase your cash flow is with your existing clients. And, and so if you can offer more reasons for your existing clients to feel appreciated, uh, to come back, to bring, you know, their, their family there. A lot of grandparents today are raising their grandchildren because of the opioid crisis, folks. Did you know that? How many yeah. grandparents are raising their own grandchildren? Well, you might not have known that you could have the side room or one of those adjoining rooms for a birthday party at Red River during regular business hours. You didn't know that. Well, you're not going to know that if we don't tell you that. And so, you know, again, if, if you are a, an existing client, you appreciate their food. You don't want bug protein or lab grown meat. You think I'm joking. You keep watching the next couple of months, folks. Well, 
and you find out that, hey, uh, wow, I can have Lacey's birthday party here, my granddaughter, right? Well, guess what? You're going to bring the family back for that. And, and that's just opening up existing channels and new channels uh, with, again, having an account mentality of traffic. You know, uh, here's another example. Let's say you're not a restaurant. Let's say that you're you're an auto parts dealer. Well, there's only so much you can you can advertise spark plugs and battery specials. Uh, if you want to engage different people groups or expand your market share, well, first thing you need to do is you need to have some kind of promotion you put into the hands of those who are already doing business with you. Remember, remember the number one way to to increase cash flow is with your existing clients. Secondly, you need to engage other people groups that may be maybe doing a joint venture. You might do a cross promotion uh, with a dealer. You might do a, 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 a auto dealer. You might do a cross promotion with a, a quick lube, right? Because some problems can't be fixed with the quick lube. Uh, but if, if they can, if they can refer you or refer their people to you, then you're getting new market share. But again, uh, this next layer of marketing is I don't see hardly any of it uh, happening in certain cities. And it, there's a gold mine there. If you cross promote uh, with others and again, Hey, look, unashamedly, if you, if you, if you contact welcome partner, you're going to do that. You're going to be cross promoting with other companies because when people open up that direct mail envelope, they're going to see specials of different kinds of businesses and stuff. Um, that's a new way to gain some new market share as well. But I see direct mail making, uh, a, a, I would say a comeback. It's, it's always been relevant especially with the boomers, but I, I, I see it reemerging in some new ways along. This will surprise you too, folks, along with radio. Um, if, if, if a radio station is smart enough to adopt the podcast model, because that's where things are going, people uh, are watching podcasts because they can do something else while they're listening to you. Mm -hmm. uh, radio stations have an opportunity. I don't know that they'll take it. Uh, if they want to stay old school radio, they're going to die out. But if they adopt the, the podcast uh, model, they could probably um, shoot up a whole nother level of, of relevance and all that too. But again, DJ, you know, uh, I don't know if, you're, if your current clients think about that a lot. The benefit of being in the same package or envelope as other businesses um, because they're gaining new market share that perhaps they would have had before. Well, they do. And the, the other thing is that if they hadn't really considered teaming up with other people, they can do that at our networking breakfast because they get to sit together and chat together. And they can right. find ways like nonprofits can work with for profits. We show right. them how to do that just by just by visiting and getting to know each other. So there's all kinds of aspects of things we offer uh not just direct mail, but we also uh offer uh digital. And then thanks to you, we've been able to feature a lot of our clients with uh, their uh, videos. So it's it's all kinds of things. It's not just one thing anymore. You have to offer more. And we do, and our prices have stayed the same. So we can serve others that are really on a tight budget. We honor that. Well, and and you know, there's some other things that you do too that are are not very uh traditional um you have such a loyalty to your clients that you you don't load up on competing businesses um well that's i tell you what that's exclusivity yeah. except for food nonprofits, and events and you know yeah. what folks look if, if you it's not just because she's my friend and that i love her to pieces but if if you if you link up with with a direct mail combine that with good graphics offers um, combine that with with good media uh that perhaps you might put a qr code on that leads to uh combined with the best most successful networking breakfast i've ever seen thank you i'll tell you uh i've been i've been to a lot of those a lot of them are a waste of time you never get business never get business out of it and and it's not it's not formatted in a way where you can not always um a lot of well-meaning people, but it's just, it's just never benefited me, but the networking breakfast in Amarillo with welcome partner folks, if, if you just jumped on board for nothing more than that, and then saw the benefit of direct mail and seeing the benefit 
and the wisdom of combining multiple forms of media, print media uh, with the mail. Uh, the, you know, of course, some will have a QR code or, or a channel or a website. And then, of course, you know, your digital media. I think DJ, DJ does all of that. Radio. You can actually get all your pieces working together instead of having a social media gallery here and a radio gallery here and a graphic gallery. Hey, I'm all of that. DJ, you're all of that. But if you get all the pieces working together and you are the hub and you're building new relationships and cross promotion with new people groups and you're doing a new level of marketing, uh, engaging specific people groups, then you're going to see an increase in your cash flow and your traffic. You're also going to see just overall good business uh, because, again, it um, it really pays to to be able to refer people. If, if you have a, a Jiffy Lube and you can tell someone where to go to save thousands of dollars on their engine repair, they will never forget that. OK, so it pays to be in the know. It pays to be, a, 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 you know, a, a good reference. And, and you reap what you sow. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to read the Bible to reap what you sow, folks. Uh, you sow evil, you, you know, you reap evil, right? And so uh, you sow good, you reap good. I mean, it's a universal law. It, it doesn't dis discriminate, uh, you know. But all that to say is, um, uh, so this new emergency, and it is an emergency meeting, folks. I, I've got a national news show that reaches over 31 million households. I know what legislation's coming down the pike. You don't. And I love you and I love DJ and I love small business. You better have a game plan to be ahead of the game, to reach people in their homes, as well as in the community, no shame, no blame, no fear tactics, none of that. It is what it is. And what it is, is you need to be ahead of the game. You need to go where things are going to be. Uh, more people will engage online. More people will do business online. More people will want to take their food home. Uh, you, more people are going to be opening their mail. Okay. You watch, you watch and, but you can be encouraged and you can thrive. I don't know about you, DJ, but my business quadrupled during, during, uh, uh, the last thing. And, um, uh, it's because people saw the need to, to market and those who learned the lesson from that continued, uh, to be in the homes, whether it's in the mailbox on the radio, of course, this day and age, you know, uh, streaming television. Of course, Rebecca, you know, who's a, who, who she's one of our team members, right? She handles Omni marketing and display ads as well. I'm a graphic artist, you know, for, for decades uh, as well. DJ, all the channels and all the services you provide as well. Uh, be ahead of the game, build relationships. And again, um, shamelessly uh, with, with this new year coming and all the things that are happening on the world stage uh, and all the regulations that are being proposed. <laughs> uh, you really need to join the networking breakfast and build some good relationships. And you will be glad that you did. Thank you.